Hey there, welcome to the Healthier Home. Today, we're gonna to have a look at grounded versus ungrounded laptop plugs. And I'm gonna show you through a body voltage test what the difference is between these two types. So we're gonna compare a grounded three-pronged to an ungrounded two-pronged. And this can make a huge difference on our energy levels when we're working on our computers each day. So stick with me. So in building biology, we use a test called a body voltage test. And what a body voltage test does is it's checking the voltage on your body. It's checking the AC voltage that's present on your body, which is an effect of electric fields. And how we do that is we use this voltmeter with this hand probe. This voltmeter is grounded into the wall. This hand probe allows my body to be turned into an antenna, which will allow me to check out what my AC voltage is that's present. Now, when we are looking at our body voltage, we are measuring in millivolts and we're trying to get below 100 millivolts. If we're between 100 and 1000, we want to start looking at ways that we can bring that level down. And if we're over 1000, then we definitely want to start working at ways to bring that level down. Because this is going to really affect how tired we get when we're working on our computer each day. And it also has some other effects on our body as well. So let's have a look at what an ungrounded, two-pronged, ungrounded plug does to my body voltage. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to hold the probe in one hand. I'm going to touch my computer that's plugged in with an ungrounded cord in the other. And we're going to check our body voltage. So right now we've got 18,000. Uh, 19,000, 18,000. This is way higher than what we want to see. So this is really going to tire us out and we're well over that 1000 range, which is well into the extreme concern range as far as building biology is concerned. So I'm going to show you now what the change is when we use a three pronged grounded plug. Okay, so now I have my laptop plugged in with a three pronged grounded cord and I'm going to show you what difference this makes on my body voltage. So I'm going to hold my probe in one hand and touch my computer and I'll show you our levels which is right around the 100 mark just below 90, 89, 87, uh, 85. So this has gotten us below that 100 millivolt level simply from switching out a two pronged ungrounded to a three pronged grounded cord. So that's the difference between a grounded versus an ungrounded laptop plug. It makes a huge difference on our body voltage, and this can really affect our energy levels throughout the day. Now, to ground your laptop, you might already have a grounded plug attached to yours. And if you do, awesome, use that, you're good. If you bought a newer MacBook, you're only gonna be uh, given one of these two pronged plugs. Older MacBooks did come with a grounded one of these as well, that should be in your box that you can switch out and use. So if that's the case, if you still have your box and you have an older MacBook, check for a grounded one of these. Newer MacBooks stopped giving you the grounded option, so you're gonna to have to go aftermarket. There's something that looks like this, uh, gives you a bunch more cord, which is awesome, grounds your laptop really well. It's about $10 off Amazon, super easy fix. Uh, you can see that link off the recommended product section of the Healthier Home. There's also some products you can get from a website called Less EMF. So this is one of those products. It's a grounded plug on one end and an alligator clip on the other. So this alligator clip can attach to your laptop. This is a way you can ground it. They also sell similar um, devices like this, but instead of an alligator clip, there's a USB right here that can plug right into your computer. This plugs into a properly grounded outlet and that can ground your laptop. There's another website called Electra Health. Again, link is on the healthier home and they sell something called an ethernet grounding adapter kit. And what this is, is this plugs into the wall here and then it's got a double ethernet um, port. So one goes in here and connects to your router, the other connects to your laptop. And as long as you're using shielded cord, then this is gonna ground your laptop as well. Another option, perhaps you've got a printer connected to your laptop. If that printer has a grounded three prong plug, and it's plugged into the wall, and then you've connected that printer to your laptop, that's also gonna ground your laptop that way as well. 
So there's a few different ways you can go about grounding your laptop and this is going to make a really big difference in your body voltage and your energy levels throughout the day. So I hope that's a nice useful tip for you. Thank you so much for joining me and remember the power lies with you. We'll see you next time.